안녕하세요. Hello everyone. In this module, you will learn how to introduce your friends in Korean. There are many people around us, including our friends. What are your friends like? What do they do? How can we introduce our friends in Korean? Let's get started with this topic. First, in this unit, we will study how to explain a person's actions or movement in Korean. Let's watch a video. Two people are talking about what their friend is doing. Listen carefully. Bang, bang, bang. 누가 노래해요? 마이클이 노래해요. What did they say? Let's check their dialogue. The first person asked, 누가 노래해요? Who is singing? Then the other person answered, 마이클이 노래해요. Michael is singing. Please listen again. 누가 노래해요? 마이클이 노래해요. In order to learn these expressions, we will first study some basic verbs. 먹다 먹다 is to eat. 먹다 읽다 읽다 is to read. 읽다 사다 사다 means to buy. 사다 보다. 보다 means to see or to watch. 보다. 주다. 주다 is to give. 주다. 마시다. 마시다 is to drink. 마시다. 공부하다. 공부하다 is to study. 공부하다 노래하다 노래하다 means to sing 노래하다 Now listen and repeat after me 먹다 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 읽다 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 사다 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 보다 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 주다 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 마시다 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 공부하다 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 노래하다 노래하다. 노래하다. Let's check your vocabulary. Please look at the picture and say the word in Korean. 먹다. 읽다. 사다. 보다. 주다 마시다 공부하다 노래하다 Very good. Now let's study today's grammar, the final ending of a sentence, verb stem oyo, ayo, yoyo. This is an informal style sentence ending that is placed after an action verb or a descriptive verb stem. This form is used frequently in everyday conversation with people you respect. Depending on your intonation, it can be used in the declarative or interrogative form. And depending on the context and flow, it can also be used in the imperative or suggestive form. From this point in our lectures on, we will use the following terms about verbs. By action verbs, we mean verbs like 가다 
an oda that shows actions. And descriptive verbs refer to all the stative verbs like 좋다 and 예쁘다. A verb stem refers to the part of the verb which is not conjugated. For example, the stems of the verbs 가다 and 먹다 are 가 and 먹 without the final ending 다. In this lecture, verb stems will be marked VST as you can see here. Now, let's look at how verbs are conjugated using oyo, ayo, and yoyo. When the verb stem ends in a or o, use ayo. When the verb stem ends in other vowels, use oyo. And when the verb ends with hada, use yoyo. Now, let's look at the examples one by one. First up are verbs which use ayo after the verb stem. Let's look at verbs ending in the vowel a. As you can see in manta, meaning to be many or much, and sada, which means to buy, the verb stems are man and sa, respectively. What is the vowel of the verb stem? Yes, it's a. So, Manta becomes manayo, taking ayo after man. The verb stem sa of the verb sada also ends in a, so sada becomes sa ayo. In this case, sa ayo is contracted to sayo. Next are the verbs that have stems ending in o. 좋다, meaning to be good, and 보다, to see or watch, both have verb stems ending in O. In this case as well, you use 아요. So 좋다 becomes 좋아요 by putting 아요 after the verb stem. The verb stem 보 in 보다 also takes 아요 and becomes 보아요. And here, 보아요 needs to be shortened to 봐요. Next, let's look at the verbs that take 어요. First, there are verbs that have 어 in the end of their verb stem. The verb stems of 먹다, to eat, and 서다, to stand, are 먹 and 서 when you take the ending 다 away. The verb stem ends with 어, so 먹다 becomes 먹어요, adding 어요 to 먹. Likewise, 서다 becomes 서어요 by putting 어요 after 서. And 서어요 is shortened to 서요. Now, look at the verbs with 우 in their verb stem ending. If you take the ending 다 away from the verb 웃다 to laugh and 배우다 to learn, the verb stems are 웃 and 배우 respectively. So from 웃다, we connect the verb stem 웃 with the ending 어요 to form 웃어요. Similarly, 배우다 becomes 배우어요 by adding the ending 어요 to the stem 배우. Here, 우어 in 배우어요 is contracted leaving 배워요. Let's examine one more case that takes 어요. 있다, to have or to exist, and 마시다, to drink, have stems ending in 이, eat, and 마시. 있다 becomes 있어요 by putting 어요 after the verb stem 잇. The verb stem 마시 in 마시다 also takes 어요, so 마시다 becomes 마시어요. Finally, 시어 in 마시어요 is shortened, giving us 마셔요. Lastly, there are verbs that end with 하다. These 하다 verbs take 여요. Examples are 공부하다 to study and 노래하다 to sing. 
The verb stems are gongbuha and noreha respectively. Gongbuhada becomes gongbuhayoyo by adding yoyo to the stem gongbuha and is often contracted to gongbuheyo. Norehada also has hada for its ending, so it takes yoyo. We get norehayoyo when we put noreha and yoyo together, and it can also be contracted to noreheyo. Now let's practice the verbs you learned just before. Mokta. The verb stem ends in o. Mogoyo. Sada. The verb stem ends in a. Sayo. Mashida. The verb stem ends in e. Mashoyo. Kungbuhada. The verb ends in hada. Kungbuheyo. Now listen to each question and answer. My kuri ilgoyo? Ne, my kuri ilgoyo. Yuriga bayo? Ne, yuriga bayo. Liega choyo? Ne, liega choyo. Erigi noreheyo? 네, 에릭이 노래해요. Well done. Now, it's time to do some speaking practice using the verbs we have learned. First, take a look at the dialogue. Bang, bang, bang. 누가 노래해요? 마이클이 노래해요. The first person asked, 누가 노래해요? Who is singing? And the other person answered, Michael이 노래해요. Michael is singing. Now listen and repeat. 누가 노래해요? 누가 노래해요? 누가 노래해요? 마이클이 노래해요. 마이클이 노래해요. 마이클이 노래해요. Let's practice together. Listen to and answer my questions. Michael 씨, 누가 노래해요? 영수가 노래해요. 누가 먹어요? 마리아가 먹어요. 누가 공부해요? 리에가 공부해요. Excellent. Now ask your friend a question and let them answer. 누가 노래해요? 영수가 노래해요. 누가 마셔요? 웨이가 마셔요. Very good. Now, can you answer my question? 누가 공부해요? You can answer with 마이클이 공부해요 or with 리에가 공부해요. How was it? Now, can you tell others what your friend is doing? Lastly, we will watch short video clips demonstrating the expressions we learned. 내일 콘서트가 있어요. 그래요? 누가 노래해요? 마이클이 노래해요. 커피예요. 누가 마셔요? 제가 마셔요. 도서관이에요. 누가 공부해요? 학생들이 공부해요. 어디가 보고요? 루카스가 마셔요. 봐요. How did you do today? Can you understand what the students said in the video? In this unit, you learned how to express others' actions and movements while using the informal high sentence ending oyo, ayo, yoyo. In the next unit, let's study how to explain others' actions more in detail. Thank you. Bye. 안녕히 계십시오.